Hi, I'm here on the RealCom show floor um, reporting for controltrends.org, and I have with me Osman Salim. And Osman, I've been reading his work on LinkedIn about smart buildings for years, and I'm just wondering what you're expecting. It's his very first RealCom. Thanks, uh, Teresa. Yes, it's my first RealCom uh, conference. I've been involved in the industry for well over a decade now, but it's the first time I actually made the time to come here. And I'm really excited to meet people that I've known about uh, and that I've spoken to and communicated with, but never actually met. Um, so a lot of interesting topics, uh, a lot of topics that are really within my wheelhouse. I focus as an independent consultant uh, in smart building technology as an advisor. And then recently, um, one of the areas that I'm specializing in is uh, cybersecurity for OT um, in smart buildings, but also for wider critical infrastructure industries. Wow, and so what are you seeing around on the floor that's interesting you? Well, uh, since um, I would say the last decade and a half or so, a lot of the topics that uh, were being discussed by uh, people uh, thought leaders, they're coming to fruition now. And that's why a lot of the vendors that we have here are, um, are, are, are really providing the practical uh, implementation of a lot of the ideas and thoughts that, uh, that we were talking about about years ago. It's really good to see that in practice. And while no solution is perfect, it's uh, a trajectory that's really on the right path. And we in the real estate industry are, are on, a, on a critical juncture with sort of the black cloud over real estate with the, the loan defaults and the technology challenges that we have and the hybrid workspace. So uh, I'm here to learn about a lot of the, what the vendors have to offer and uh, just brush up on my knowledge because there's, there's just so much to learn. Osman, you came by the Tritium booth and we were talking a minute about um, Tritium, long time been the central control panel for the BMS and how that's spreading out to smart cities. Any thoughts on that? So smart cities are a very, very interesting topic. Um, they're in a way, um, smart buildings are one block uh, for smart cities, right? One of the initiatives that I'm working on right now is I'm an advisor for a startup in the smart city space that provides very, very striking visualizations um, at, a, at a city landscape and they want to zoom in to building. So I think um, uh, companies like Tritium that have a huge presence in buildings uh, can really um, provide uh, digital twin providers or digital visualization providers and, and, and uh, very valuable data and insight and really zoom in from a city level to see what's going on to a building level. Right. That's that trajectory. We have the data in the buildings and the buildings are coming in together to be in smart cities. And we're seeing that in places like Dubai first, yep. but we're seeing it in other places too. You're involved in Toronto as well. Yes, so we are involved in, in Toronto. Um, the, comp the startup that I'm referring to is Meta World X. They are a Toronto-based startup. They have an entire digital visualization of uh, the city of Toronto. They're working with the city of Toronto. Uh, and integrating into a lot of the different uh, data feeds that they have coming in and they're working with them to improve safety security. Those are the two main use cases that we're working on right now. Sounds great. Thanks. Thanks, Austin. Awesome.